go ahead and kit up my snack painting that I wanted to work on. Um, so again, this is from Diamond Dots and it's a 47 by 37 is the design size. The fabric size is 55 by 45. So, and what I've got this laying on, and I, I think I've shown this before, this is a uh, desk cover mat. You know, so your desk is scratched up. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm kind of just moving it around. You know, it's got the flap right here for, you know, maybe putting a calendar underneath. But this entire thing is magnetic. And it's got a little lip right here at the bottom where it kind of can let, you know, go over your, on your desk at the edge. I love this. All I did was I carried this thing around all over the house. So this was upstairs in my little, my little nook where um, I do most of my diamond painting that are smaller. I just carried this and just lifted it. I mean, look how I just lift the whole thing up and I just brought it into my bedroom and just plopped it on my bed. So because I've got, as y'all can see, I'll move you over there and show you. I've got Fuji Flora kitted up over there on my table against the window. So to move all that, I was like, oh, I don't really wanna do that. I'm just gonna put this on the bed and just kit it up. So hope y'all don't mind going for a ride. I am gonna be using my Elizabeth storage, Elizabeth Ward storage. I've got one of those. I think it's a 45 piece set with different sizes. And then I've got my, what else do I have? Let's go for a tour. Oh yeah, I've got my release papers that I got from Bev B, which I don't think she's selling them anymore, but it's all I have left. I've used all my white ones already. So I had these on Fuji Flora. So they come in, you can see kind of underneath, they come in big sheets, but then I just cut them. And then after I would finish a row on Fuji Flora, I would just stick them back in the, the envelope that she sent them to me in with like a cardboard. So we're gonna use these because I don't like the clear sheet. I like to take that off. And I got my scissors and we got the drills and I've got my legend that we had made. And then, yeah, we're gonna, and we had kitted up, I think one of the containers I found the first one there. So we will keep going and kit it up. All right, so let me get us back in frame, but no, I will link this Ikea desk mat I love it. And I, like I said, I didn't know it was magnetic and it's been one of my favorite things. So what I did last night, I got everything out last night, just kind of preparing for the video. And what I did was I went into my little, I've got a little um, lunch bin, a little tin lunch pail that I keep all my cover minders in. And I got all my cover minders out that were mermaid themed. And I have quite a few of them. This one came from these two came from um, Kim's Needle Minders, and I can link her. So you got the mermaid in the bathtub and this mermaid. So, and what I did was just to flatten it out, I just kind of set these on all the corners. So then it just, that's what I really like about this magnetic covers because it just keeps everything flat and then you're ready to go. I made these little cover minders. My daughter had some, I don't know, I think they came with some slime and so I thought they were really cute. They're just mermaid scales. And so I just added some magnets on the back of them, made some cover minders out of those. So I've got those. And then I've got this new one that I got from Bev B. When she sent me my chonky pin, she sent me this really, really cute shell with a little pearl in it. It's a cover minder. So I thought that was kind of ocean themed. So I've got that one on this side. And then Whoops, I'm sorry, y'all, my hat. Randy, um, here on YouTube, has, you can call me Butter. She had given me a gift with some little goodies in there, and there was this cute little one that says love, this little sparkly one, and I love it. And it reminds me of her, so I have that on this corner. All right, so I've got everything pinned down. So the first thing I do is I get my release papers out. Okay, so I get my release papers out. Let me just grab a handful of the ones that, again, these are reusable, so. The only thing is they curled up a little bit. So this will be the first time that I've reused them. So let's just, we'll get a, an idea if they lay flat. But I just kinda, with the class, with the you know clear sheet, the clear plastic still over it, I just kinda gauge how many I'm gonna need before I peel it off. And it looks like five's gonna work. 
I can kind of eyeball it. Yeah. So we'll do five. And then holding this one down, just covering everything up, let's see. Looks like it's going to be about three rows. Perfect. Look at that. All right. So we'll need 15 of them. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I'm going to put these back. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these to the side and let's go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah. I just don't like the crinkling, the noise, it just really, it bugs me. So I really, I don't like using these. I always just throw them away as soon as I get up. All right. She's pretty. You can really see the colors without that. So I'll probably, like I said, I don't think y'all want to sit here and watch me lay every single one of these down. Oh yeah, they lay down nice. So they are really reusable and they, they flatten out again. I expected, I expected nothing less from the quality of these from Bev. These are awesome. Oops. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if there's like a tiny little, you know, which I, that's pretty close, but if there's a tiny little crack where it's exposed, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just as long as you cover up, you know, the majority of it. So yeah, this is how I, re how I do release papers. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but I've never really shown y'all. This is how I do it. All right, so I will time-lapse the rest of this. And when it's done, I will see y'all in just a second and then we'll get started. done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get the diamonds out. And what I was noticing when looking at these strings, I love this about diamond dots is they're all in numerical order. So that's really, really nice. So then, you know, when you're kidding up, because I like to put mine in my container, in my little board, I like to put them in there in order, numeric order. So let's see. Okay, so this is one through ten right here. I'm sorry, I keep hitting y'all. I've got one of my hats on. I'm so sorry. I need to maybe take my hat off. It's not like you can see me in my hair. My hair is a mess. Well, y'all saw me in the car. I just have a braid on. But all right, so yeah, that's going to be number one, and that's 8,100, and that's 8,100 on here. Again, I'll, you know, probably just time lapse this. I love this. I love cutting the little bumps with the scissors. I like the way it feels. I know. I'm a strange one. All right. I'll see you on a sec. I'll let you uh, listen to some music while I hit this up. Awesome. I hope that wasn't too long for y'all. And I don't know if you saw, I was just kind of collecting all my trash into here. This is the bag that all the drills had come in. And I just kind of leave it open and just kind of stuff all the wrappers in there from all the diamonds and all the, this is the backings from the stickers, from the labels. 
and then I just kind of press it down, seal it back up, get the air out, and then there you go. You got your trash. Just throw it away. Okay, so one thing that did surprise me whenever I was kidding this up, I did not realize that it had ABs until I saw these beautiful colors. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, there's this beautiful, it's almost like a pearl white. Hope y'all can see that. It's like a, it's really, really pretty. It's like little pearls. Look at that. So that was one of them. It was like the last four that I did. Love this green. So, yeah, their, their drills are amazing. Their ABs are really, really pretty. I mean, really, look at the sparkle on those. It's just crazy. And then there was this really pretty light blue. It's not very many of them, but it's really, really pretty. It's like a baby blue. And they sparkle. Sorry, I know the lighting's not great today. It's really gloomy outside and rainy and... It's, uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of natural light, so it makes this a little bit harder to do. And then there was this little, like, pink, pinkish purple. Yeah, so I had four, which I was just shocked. I had no idea. So that was a little nice surprise at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I don't need those extras. I'll just store them, you know. Um, I also, this also comes with a lid. And I'll attach it in the description, the link. Uh, but I don't use the lid because I just, you know, leave it open. But if you had kids or something, that would be maybe a good thing to have. Maybe if they don't know how to figure out how to open these, that would be smart. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of put them in order. This is how I like to do it. Just kind of makes more sense to me. I don't know why. And then I almost start to, like, memorize where things are. Just after you work on it for a while, you start, you're like, oh, okay, I know where that one is. I know where this one is. And you just kind of get used to it. I mean, at least for me, that's what ends up happening. So, so we got six, seven, eight. So I hope y'all are doing good today. I didn't even ask you earlier on the car. I was just going on and on about Costco. But I'm glad that that's done and over with. And we've got a few groceries. Whoa, I just hit y'all with my head. I'm sorry. This hat of mine is getting in the way today. You know me though, I love the hats. I am a hat wearer. For those of you that might be new, you'll see a lot of hats. Yep, I do like them. All right, so I'm gonna go 14, 15. Let's see, 16. I'm still looking for, aha, uh -huh, 10. And then 11. I might go back down here. I don't need 13. 13, where are you hiding? 13? Oh, here he is. 13, 14, 15, 16. And um, I love doing this because then you get to see all the colors all at once and you get to see how, how pretty it is. Oh, that's really pretty. Great colors. I really do like diamond dots. And I was gonna say, I noticed when kidding up, and I couldn't say anything because I was time-lapsing it, but um, I know I've heard some people complain in the past about the static. I have to tell you, I had absolutely no static trying to get those out. It was super easy. Absolutely no problems. All right, there we go. There's all of our colors. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy there's ABs. That was really a... I was kind of bummed out. I'm like, oh, it's a diamond dots. I don't think they're going to have ABs. I, that kind of caught me off guard. That was really, really nice. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of static in here, but maybe it's because it was just kind of, see a few of them are like, whoops, sorry, y'all. You're not even in the, some of them are kind of sticking to the container a little bit on the walls. And sometimes that can cause status, but I mean, static, but really, I mean, I'm not, it's not bad at all. All right, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, I hope this was helpful, especially for some of the new new folks that maybe have never, you know, kitted up before. And you get an idea of how, you know, some people do it. And then in this empty space over here, you can put your pens, your wax, your tweezers, and then you can just kind of carry it around if you need to move around and diamond paint in different areas. So it's, it's I like having the extra space over here. You put your trays. So yeah, um, that's it for today. I do love you guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. If you has, haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. 
I would just love, love, love to have you join me and, you know, just see where we go from here. And then um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And then there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you click on that, it's a notification bell and you'll get a notification whenever I post up a new video. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. All right. Take care.